So we're looking at some questions here. The first one we've got, we've got a car traveling uh, at V meters per second around a section of bank track, which has a radius of 100 meters, and it's banked at an angle of 12 degrees. So then we're going to take gravity as 9.8. We want to find the speed of the car. We want to find V. So what have we got? Our car's traveling around. So there's our car. What's happening to it? We've got mass times gravity acting there. It has no tendency to slip, so there's no frictional force happening. All we've got is the normal force, the reaction force to the, the track itself. So there's no tendency to slip. So that's all good. So we know that we can set up that that's going to be equal to n cos theta. So n cos theta would equal mass times gravity. And we know if in going into the center there, if that's theta, uh, we'll end up with theta there. So we're going to get n sine theta happening that way. Or if we want to play with it there, it'd be n sine theta happening that way. And we're going to have... Um, Mass omega square, mass v squared on r, because we want to find v in this case. So that's where we get the opposing forces of n sine theta and n times v squared on r. So how do we find v here? Well, we know what theta is. We don't know what n is, so we wanted to eliminate that. So if we divide equation two by equation one, that eliminates the normal force. So tan theta is equal to v squared on r times g. We know theta. We can get V and get it as RG tan theta. We know R is 100. We know V G is uh, 9.8 and theta is 12. Put that in, we get 14.4 meters per second. So the next one, again, we've got a car having no tendency to slip, which means we don't have to worry about a frictional force in this because if there's no tendency to slip, then it won't, f won't uh, slide, so there's no friction. So if it's round track radius 200 this time, and we want it, and we don't know the angle of theta, we want to find that angle of theta. So again, we, we set it up. We have n cos theta, and we have n sine theta. Uh, mass times omega squared times r, although we've got speed, so we, we won't go there. We'll do mv squared on r that way. So n cos theta is equal to mass times gravity, and n sine theta is equal to mv squared on r. Again, we'll divide equation 2 by 1 because that eliminates the n for us. We get tan theta is equal to uh, v squared on rg. So put r, v, and g in there. Tan theta gives us that number, which works out to be approximately 24.7 degrees. So this time we've got an aircraft flying around at a speed of 100 meters per second in a horizontal circle of radius 4 kilometers. At what angle is the aircraft bank? And you can probably look and go, well, why would we care about the aircraft being banked? But that allows us, again, that allows the aircraft to fly in uh, at a faster speed once they start to bank and turn. Think about a fighter pilot. They'll turn so they can, they'll, they'll tilt so they can turn and go a lot faster around their turns. Otherwise, they have to take a wider turning circle. So, four kilometer radius is rather large anyway. So, don't want to make it any bigger. So again, there's our diagram. We know where our forces are acting. So we know we can set up those again. And we want to find the angles. So tan of theta is equal to V squared on RG. Remember, we're going to take R as in, in meters because the gravity is working in meters. So that's why we can't get here in four kilometers still. Uh, and we had our flying speed at 100 meters per second. So we changed all that to meters and sub it in. Have tan theta is equal to that number, which means it tilts at 14.3 degrees. And question four here, we've got to try to work out what the car should travel, what speed a car should travel around a bend at 80 meters, which is banked at an angle of 10 degrees. So again, we've, we've set this up because we want it to have no tendency to slip. That would be the ideal situation. It's got no tendency to slip. What's its ideal ve uh, velocity? So we set up our equations again, and we do our division to get tan theta is equal to v squared on rg. Solve for v, sub in uh, the radius of 80 and the gravity of 9.8 and angle of 10. We get velocity being 11.8 meters per second. So you can see how we set up, again, setting up our forces diagram, equating our forces. 
and it's nice in these ones because there was no tendency to slip which means the, the there's no friction we don't have to worry about that there's no friction being applied here because there's no slippage so that that makes the questions easier as if we see that 